am Joey Shemansky. And I'm Ali Lovisato. Here and are your announcements for today. There you go. The freshman class student council will be meeting this Thursday at 3 p.m. in room 208 to elect next year's officers. Check your email for details. Huge news! Congratulations to the Hersey girls water polo team on their first MSL East Championship in the school history. The girls beat Buffalo Grove on Tuesday thanks to some fabulous defense by Jill Hoffman and Natalie Curtis. Goals were scored by Emily Goldsberry, Katie Lutz, Katie Lindholm, and Carolina Schmaschek. Good luck to the girls next week when they play Barrington for the conference championship. Seniors, it's that time to celebrate. Wednesday, May 1st, National Decision Day, the day colleges and universities expect your final decision on where you are going to school next year. At school, we will celebrate National Decision Day on Tuesday, April 30th. Wear your college t-shirts, sweatshirts, or school colors. Then stop by the College and Career Center during lunch periods for refreshments and have your picture taken with your friends. Our badminton team swept the Schaumburg Saxtons on all three levels in their last conference dual meet of the season. Congratulations! Color Guard will have a spin clinic. Learn how to spin and toss a flag on Saturday, May 4th from 12 p.m. to 4.15 p.m. Be in the teacher room. Color Guard will also have auditions Tuesday, May 7th and Thursday, May 9th from 5.30 to 8.30 p.m. in the field house. The Arts Unlimited Photography Show is now on display in the Academic Resource Center until tomorrow. Esteban Miranda received top honors for his black and white image. Come down to the library to see all of the work on display from all six District 214 schools. Congratulations to the freshman boys gymnastics team for going undefeated this season and winning their conference tournament. Attention AP test takers! Student AP packets will be available for pickup during lunch hours in the Commons on May 1st and May 2nd. You need the AP packs for testing. Bring your ID! How long have you been teaching? And what's your teaching career been like? Well, I um, actually started out at Arlington High School when it was actually the Arlington Cardinals. And that was back in 1981. And I worked there for a year. I was coaching volleyball and badminton. And I was uh, working in one of the departments there. And then I came over to Percy and coached volleyball and badminton. And I was a permanent sub. And then uh, a teaching position opened up in 1983. And I've been teaching here since then. How do you feel about your retirement? It's kind of shocking. It's, uh, I wasn't expecting to retire this year. I was expecting to leave in another two years, but uh, the timing is right and uh, for the financial picture for me. So, boy, it's hard. I love what I do. But do you have any special memories from your teaching here? Um, boy, it's hard to sum that up or think of anything in particular. Um, but I think any time I've had the opportunity to help a student along with not simply mathematics, but just understanding life better or getting a better grip on why we're here and what we're doing with our lives, that, that's been significant to me. Um, I learned early on that um, what I primarily do first is I teach students. I happen to teach math, but my primary job is teaching students. <coughs> and anytime I can have that kind of impact, those are memorable moments for me. Have a great day, Huskies!